Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you how you can build your own print-on-demand shop using Gelato and how you can sell your own t-shirts, your own calendars, mugs, hats or whatever you want to sell with your print on it. And before we start, really important, you will find the link down in the video description, just the first one here, Gelato, and it's a partner link so you can sign up for free and try it out for free and at the same time you're helping me and my channel, so thank you a lot if you use my link. And once you've clicked on it, you will land on this page and and here you will find your language and your currency and then you can click on sign up for free. And once you've signed up, it will bring you to this page. You might have to answer some questions before, but once you've done that, you will land on this home screen here. And here we can start setting up our print on demand business. And before we start, I want to show you what we can actually do. So most people sell via Etsy. So they just sell funny shirts via Etsy. And for example, this one here with a smoking cat or this funny shirt here from Harry Potter. And you can start selling your stuff on Etsy or you can even even build your own store using Wix or Shopify and these are just e-commerce platforms where you can sell your print-on-demand product but first we need to create a print-on-demand product here in Gelato. We can place an order to get a sample but we actually don't need that because the t-shirts are just t-shirts and they're in good quality here in Gelato so I kind of trust their brand. So let's go to the second step and connect our own store and here you have all the integrations so you see you can either use Shopify which is the biggest e-commerce platform in the world but you can also use Etsy. The advantage of Etsy is that you can just create products and upload them there so you don't need to build it like a website, a shop page and a card page and connect payment methods. So this is way more technical and Etsy is just simpler to set up as a beginner. You will have to pay some fees for the platform to sell it but it's simpler to set up. You can also sell via Amazon or TikTok shop or even Wix which I always recommend because it's an easier drag and drop website builder. I will link you the possibilities down in the video description. It's also partner links. So thank you if you're using my link to sign up for Wix or Shopify or even Squarespace. But most of you I think are good with Etsy because Etsy is at the same time the platform where people search for funny shirts. So I would recommend you starting with Etsy. So let's go ahead and connect the Etsy store. So you just click on connect and then you just can sign up with Google, Facebook or Apple or your email address. And once you've done that you will see that your store is connected so if I jump back on home you see my store is already connected connected to Etsy so then I can go to the next step and create my first product and this is now the interesting part so we can go here and publish your first product and here we see the full catalog of gelato and it's really amazing what they have so they have men's clothing women's clothing kids clothing bags calendars cards phone cases they can even stick your logo on a hat or you can put it on yeah, photo books and so on. But I think most of you will start with shirts or mugs or phone cases because these are the most common print on demand type of products. Let's start with a men clothing, very simple and straightforward. So we can go to t-shirts, but you can also use sweatshirts, hoodies and so on. But I think t-shirts are fine. And now there's the important part of the price. So you can have a very expensive shirt for $17.99, which means it cost you roughly $18 to acquire the shirt and put your logo on it. So I would recommend you getting a cheaper one, for example, this one, because then your profit margin is way higher. So let's see what the other prices are, 658, 20, it's very expensive. Yeah, I think these two are the cheapest ones. So I will go ahead with this one and just select it. And now we are already in the designing phase of our shirt, which is quite nice. So now we need to come up with something and I couldn't recommend you as a beginner, just go on Etsy and search for shirts and you will find a lot of different funny shirts. For example, here, Nicolas Cage in a cage. Someone put his head on a woman's body or this Harry Potter thing. Of course, you need to be aware of copy copyright infringements so yeah no guarantee here and one thing I would recommend you do I would get the Chrome extension it's called Everbee find the best selling products on Etsy you can just install it on Chrome and it will give you the views so the amount of views this page has gotten so this one has 10,789 views and let's do the math so 10,000 views roughly and if let's say 5% of the people purchased the product it's 500 people buying this product and if we multiply it by like 
let's say $25 here, it's already $12,500. So that's quite nice, selling one shirt and getting $12,500. This listing roughly made this amount of cash. And in order to copy it or in order to find good designs, just search for it. And then you can either get creative yourself or you simply get this kind of idea and then do roughly a same picture. For example, here we can just take a screenshot and then we can upload it into ChatGPT and do our own version of this. So I just gave it the prompt. I need a similar picture for my print on demand shirt in sRGB, which are the colors and 150 DPI, which is the dots per inch and just use the different type of cat, same settings. And ChatGPT gave me this one. And then I just said, made it a little bit more in retro photography. And now I have this kind of image here. And I think it's already quite cool. So I can just click on download then I can upload it into my creative editor here from Gelato. So I can just put it in and then it will upload. And then I can just click here on the plus and the picture will be in my editor here and it will upload here. And then I can rearrange the whole thing. And yeah, I know it's not copying. Pablo Picasso said this, good artists steal, they don't copy. So we just stole the idea from this listing of our smoking cat. You will find a bunch of t-shirts on Etsy where cats are smoking. So this is not a new idea. And probably this one is not like the original artist of the idea, but it sells. So that's why we want to sell it too. And here we now have uploaded our t-shirt. And now comes the interesting part because we can print this t-shirt on different colors. So for example, we can go for a gray or a pink and here you can see the different colors. So how it will look. Actually, it looks quite nice on a pink one, but we can also choose a blue one. This doesn't look too good, so I can get rid of it. Just delete it here, get a yellow one, see how that looks. That actually looks also quite funny. So I would recommend for you to get four to six different colors of shirts, not too many, because then people get overwhelmed by the choice. Maybe also a solid black. So this looks also nice. And down here you have different sizes. So depending on your area, I think maybe in the US you need 5XL. I don't know, uh, not in every country. So you can go for like 3XL maybe, but it doesn't cost you anything because you don't produce the shirt yet, only if people purchase it. So you can actually leave it let's say 4XL. And now we already put the design on the shirt and then we can continue to the next step, which is the mock-up. And here Gelato gives us some mock-ups, but most of them are premium. So you can always upgrade for Gelato Plus and it gives you also 20% discount on most products and you will get access to these mock-ups, which are quite nice. So this will look good, but right now they are behind this paywall, but they have a new magic mock-up generator, which is AI. So you can just open it, give it a prompt, for example, lifestyle picture, just a woman wearing this in the streets and then click generate mock-ups. And now you already see like, a woman wearing this shirt. I think it's not too nice, but you get the idea. Maybe you need to prompt it a little bit better or try it just one more time, but I will add it for now. And if you want to get really creative, I can link you down in the video description another service called Place It. It's also a partner link, so thank you a lot if you're using my link. And here you can find a lot of different designs where you can upload your print-on-demand image. So you will find a lot. For example, let's use her. It's even a video and then you can just click on edit and upload your cat, crop it and then place it will render it. So it will be placed here on the sweater. And now we see that the image we created of the cat is on the sweater. I know it's a sweater now, not a t-shirt, but you get the idea so you can even play it. Now it's done rendering the whole thing so we can click on play. And this is quite cool. They put music on it. It's in motion so you can directly use it for your social media advertisement or something or your product description. And yeah, if you need t-shirts, just type in t-shirt and it will give you a bunch of t-shirt mockups. And then you can find the one suiting your product because these are all lifestyle images. So you can just place your own creative design on them. And yeah, the service is called Place It. You can also use it here for mugs. So you can sell your own mugs with it or calendars or canvases. You you will definitely find a good mock-up here. So the link is down in the description. I use it a lot for 
creating my own mockups. And then you can just upload them here or you use the creatives from here. And now we're all good and can continue to the description. And of course, we don't do this nowadays ourselves anymore. We just jump into ChatGPT and I just gave it the prompt, giving you a quick product description, retro smoking cat t-shirt, funny vintage nightlife design. <laughs> and then I can just put in the title here and get the description. So this doesn't cost me too much time. And now I can click on continue to pricing. And here comes the important part. So depending on your region, I'm based in Germany. But if you are, for example, in the US and you're calculating your product prices in dollars, then you will find different versions. So these are the sizes, S, small, medium, large, and you will find the different versions we did, the, the different colors. But I think you will just sell the same color for the same price. And now we can just go in and set our profit margin or we set the profit to the US dollar amount we want to get. But I think profit margin is fine. So you can go ahead and say, okay, I wanted to make 70% in profit and then just click update and the prices will update. And here you will see the product price depending on the different, of course, the white shirt is the cheapest. If you have gold shirt, it's a little bit cheaper even. Black is the same price. But if you don't want to do it, if all products should have the same price, let's say $29.99, which is a marketing ready price, then you can just go ahead and say, okay, I want this. And all products cost the same. The problem though with this kind of method is that the 3XL and 4XL are more expensive for you to purchase. So you always see the product cost here and the small version is of course the cheapest, but once you get to 2XL or 4XL, then it gets more expensive. So you would say here, you could go to $32 and here maybe $34 and here, I don't know, $36. Because there you have just more fabric and more fabric is more expensive. So that's why they make the 3XL and 4XL more expensive. But you see the product price here and the estimated profit margin stays the same roughly around 90 to 20%. So I think we're good with that. We can just put it here. You can also include the shipping cost in the profit calculation if you be want to be like Amazon, but I think it's it's fine. So then you can just click continue, continue anyway, and publish your product. And now the product is getting published. And now you can see that the product is ready in our store. So here I can see the product. I can also click on it and make edits to it, to the pricing and whatnot. And I have connected my Wix website here. So when I go now to Wix, I can see in my dashboard that the t-shirt is already imported into my Wix store, which is quite nice. So I don't have to do this manually. It's already there. And when I go on my website, I can see that the shirt is already selling. So I can choose my color and I can choose my size, let's say extra large, and then I can put it in my cart and just purchase it. This is just a test site, which I use for my tutorials, but you get the idea. You create this in Gelato inside the editor, choose your colors, put your sizes there, put your prices in, and then whether you have your Etsy store connected or your Shopify store, or in my case, I have this Wix store connected, then the product will be automatically imported into the management system, either Etsy, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, or whatnot. And and once you've published then the shirt here on this side, people can buy it from your website or from Etsy. So this is pretty cool. And this is very easy in Gelato. So you can just go back to product catalog and then start your next product, maybe a woman's shirt now or a woman's hoodie, and then just click there and so on and just go through and um, select the product you want to sell. Yeah, if you want to get started with Gelato now, you will find the link down here in the video description, Gelato, and I will also link you Shopify and Wix and place it. So if you use my link, thank you a lot. And if you have any questions, you will also find the comment section here. And thank you for listening. And I wish you all the best with your print on demand shirt. And if you want to start now, hit the link and then go for it.